Today, we take over the world by cheating. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like and let's get started. As Aiden gets older, he's always wondering what is next for Logic Labs. Aiden might be retiring soon, but the company is not yet done from exploiting the world. Logic Labs is honestly doing very, very well. We are making millions of dollars. It's looking like Logic Eye Touch version 2 is ready to go into development. And looking like Logic Connect 4 is also looking like going into development very shortly. We're currently not manufacturing the Logic Eye Touch yet. So I think it might be a good idea to start getting this into manufacturing. So we're coming to distribution down here. We'll find the component printer. And well, let's have a look. I don't want to go too close to over here. So let's start here somewhere. We're going to need two printers to print touch sensors. We're also going to need a plastic printer over here as well. So I might just get one here, which then in needs to go into the case. So we'll rotate this around and probably have something like this, just like a 90 degree angle here before coming into a final assembly down the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to have one vibration unit here with two controls and then another vibration unit with another two controllers over here. So in terms of our controllers, then we'll have a total of four. That will come into key. Now we do need to put it into an assembler, which is gonna be two assemblers. So we go one in there, one in there. Then we're gonna need to get a final assembly, which is four units. Jeez, that is a lot, isn't it? One, two, three, four. And then we'll need that recycler unit here. And then that can probably split into one before going onto pallets and out that way. And here is what I come up with. This is pretty cool. We've got overhead lanes. We've got under lanes. We've got ramps. All coming over here into a drop-off point to be exported. Now, it's time to get this into printing. So, let's come into print. Assembly line three. Oh, okay. How many per month do we want to see? Maybe a hundred thousand copies. So I think it's working. Look at it. That looks actually pretty good. It's probably going to cost us a lot of money to print all this. We built this brand new office here. It looks absolutely beautiful, but we have an unfurnished office over here that I want to sort out today. So we're going to need some furniture before we can do anything. So the rooms have been constructed looking awesome i've also set up some new teams as well so we've got the daytime and night team research team set up and we've got a law team now because we got that i think you guys know exactly what i'm about to start doing we're gonna come down here to the research tab and we're gonna pick something to actually research but before we get into that we need to select both of our teams so we can see roughly what they are quite capable of they can probably they can do system they can do 2d and 3d okay so we're gonna go system gonna come down all the way to the 2023 pattern click on this we're gonna make sure it is on the daytime and of course the nighttime research teams. We'll do the 23 2D and we'll also do the 3D. So we'll do the three of them first and we'll see what that can do for us. How old is Aiden now? Oh, Aiden retired already. I didn't realize Aiden retired. When did he, did he just retire just now? He just retired. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. So he was with the company for 45 years. Aiden plays retired in May 2025. Whoa, that's crazy. I was getting a bit excited over the research. I didn't realize that Aiden actually retired already. Because Aiden has retired from the company, now we can let the fun begin, shall we? And the 3D research is done. So let's finish this off. We need to make sure we get that onto the law team. So I've filtered this by legal work. Here we go. Competitor is Q4 2025. All right, so we better get that. Oh, I gotta make sure it's on the law team, don't I? Law team, where are you? There we go. There we go. Let's get our law team to pattern that. The law team has finished the patent on our 3D 2025. So that is absolutely awesome. So now we come into E under 3D. You'll see that Logic Labs owns the 2025 version. Digital distribution. That's doing not too bad. Beautiful. And money on distribution. Oh, 43 million. 
Oh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? I also just realized as well that we've got Logic Connect 4 and Logic Eye Touch ready to go. So Logic Eye Touch 2, 9.4 out of 10. That's not too bad. And the Logic Connect is 9.1, which isn't actually too bad too. So what I might actually do is let's promote both of them. Let's get a press release going and we'll announce a release date. We'll probably maybe mark March next year. I think March next year should be okay. So started with iTouch 2. How did we go, eh? We got a three, four, and three. Zero dollar marketing budget. Everything is ready to go. Now it's time to release Logic Connect 4. So in terms of the pad, it got five, five, and three. Absolutely awesome. The Logic Pad will have to order some copies. So what do we want to do? Maybe 500,000 copies for $53 million. Ouch, that's not good, is it? And in terms of Logic Connect 4, four, five, Oh, two? That's not good, is it? All right, I think I'm going to order about 200 million copies. Absolutely awesome to see. Logic Art Touch making 13.6, the pad making 1.1, and $20 million for Logic Connect 4. But there is another way in cheating and becoming the world leader in the world of software ring. Our stocks might be up, patents might be doing really well. There is one more thing. If you press F12 on your keypad, you come into the console menu. All you gotta do is go ADD, add money. We'll press tab. Now, how much money do we want? Well, I think we want about $10 billion. So we just go 10, then we'll go one, two, three. And then we'll go one, two, three. That's 10 billion. We press enter. Where's the money? Let's try this again. I think that is right. I think I made a mistake before. So we press enter. 13 billion dollars in the piggy bank. What I want to do, first things first, is come into digital distribution. We're going to come to this company here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to buy everything up. And there we go. Let's take over. Can we make a subsidiary? No, we can't. But let's take them over. There we go. Another company down. We've got another company here we can take over. So we'll buy all the stocks. And unfortunately, we can't take them over yet, so they are just going to sit in our possession. We're going to go into this company, and we're going to buy them all. It's a shame. We can't buy the company out yet. Okay, well, what about this company? Can we buy this company out? No, we can't. But we own majority of the company, so if they fail for whatever reason, we're going to be doing very well, aren't we? So what I want to do is I want to filter by the year we were all founded. So we're going to come into this company. The, uh, okay, that, that's all right. 41%. So anything over 50%. Right, we're going to be making money. So all these guys here will be able to pretty much buy out. So you can see this company here can be bought out. So we can buy that out for 400. We've got another company here. Oh, that's uh, already bought that one. What about this one? Bingo. Go into this one. We'll go bingo. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way down here just buying up so much. And just like that, I bought up as many companies as I possibly can. And I still have $10.7 billion in the piggy bank. And you know our subsidiary. I'm going to send you over some, you know, money. So we're going to deposit some money here. There we go. We're going to give you a couple billion dollars to go splash. Make your company awesome. Because honestly, we care about you. If you want to see this building, this building, and that building on the Steam Workshop, make sure you comment down below and let me know. I won't put the main building in the Steam Workshop because that's already there. You just got to retrofit it to your needs. Otherwise, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. If you did go enjoy, guys, consider subscribing down below. And, guys, I'll see you all in a new video soon.